Today, I'm gonna to fast draw single action revolvers with live ammunition. Yes, that's exactly what I told you not to do, and I'm still telling you not to do it. I never said I didn't do it, I just told you not to do it, because it is dangerous. I know what I'm doing, so I wanna show you this. It's for your entertainment purposes only. This is not an instructional. Please don't fast draw live, am live ammunition with single action revolvers. But let's get started. Shooting uh, 45 col uh, Colt ammunition, power factor uh, above 140. So that's a 200 grain, 45 caliber bullet going in excess of 700 feet per second. And no, it's not full power, but believe me, you wouldn't wanna get shot with one of these. It's, it's about two and, two and a third times more powerful than cowboy action requirements for cowboy action loads. Um, I'm shooting Colt, uh, Colt clones, single action army clones, Italian, Italian copies. I'm gonna shoot a few of them. So let's get started. The style I'm gonna do is what I call Western movie fast draw. And that, that's nothing to do with competition. That's where I stand straight up through the entire draw sequence. And I, at the beginning, my, my hands are completely relaxed because to me, any type of a fast draw concept should come from the perspective of uh, it's something that you had to react to. Uh, it's not something you may contort it down into a position. You know, that's a sport, that's fine. But what I'm doing is just something that's, to me, it's fun. It's more like the movie. So I stand up straight, hands are relaxed, hands not on the gun. And when the beeper goes off, I draw and try to put five on that steel. Missed two, 148. It's kind of all over it there, but that was a 148. 79 draw, 19, 17, 17, 16. Five on the steel, a 146. That's a 79 for the first shot. 17, 18, 16. 16 for 146 for five on the steel. Okay, so up until now I've been shooting a gun with a stock hammer And now I'm going to shoot a single action army with a racing hammer a fanning hammer that is yeah, It should be a little bit easier to get to this hammer Best time of the stock gun was 148 for five shots on steel <laughs> 148 again it might be as good as I do today. 74, first shot. 20, 18, 18, and 18. I'm just not as fast as I was two years ago when I did this. I, I, got, uh, I got hurt in a freak accident and I, I got a severe injury to my right arm and, and my hand is still stiff. And I can't quite close my grip as fast. So I'm hoping I get it back because my best time two years ago was 129 for the five shots. But, but I only did that once. Mostly it was in a low 130, so, but it was a good tenth of a second or more faster than this. So I'll keep taking some rounds, see if I can get faster. Well, I missed two out of five, but that was my fastest run today 140, 79 draw, 16, 15, 16, 14. So sometimes the speed and the accuracy don't happen at the same time. That was fast for me. I think I got at least one or two misses, 145. 45. Got a little jumpy there. 77 draw followed by a full second. 16, 14, then a long pause there. Got a couple of quick Splits in there, but I got to settle down. 141. Fastest time so far today for me. 74 draw, 17, 17, 17, 16 for 141, for five on the steel. So at the beginning of the video, I explained that I'm doing this for your entertainment purposes only. It's not a how-to. Um, don't, don't fast draw single action revolvers with live ammunition just because I did it. But I also think it's reasonable for a person to say, well, how do you do that and stay safe? You didn't shoot yourself, obviously you do it. So I'm gonna to explain to you the way I do it, my rules for myself 
to stay safe when I fast draw single action revolvers with live ammunition. It's, this isn't a how-to. I'm not telling you if you do this, you'll be safe. I'm just explaining what I do to stay safe. I still recommend no one do this. Okay, so one of the first things I do is, is I make sure I position my holster before each run so that the gun, the barrel of the gun doesn't intersect any part of my body at any time during the draw. And that sounds pretty simple, uh, but there's, there's a lot more to it than that. I also, I warm up a lot. I do a lot of dry fire draws over and over again. And I make sure that I'm not jumpy. I'm not catching the gun here. Um, I'm not in danger of dropping the gun. I, I make sure I'm in the right frame of mind before I do this. And if I get a little jumpy, whatever, I just back off and I quit. You know, so that's a, that's a couple of things. How you position the holster and warm it up, make sure you're in the right frame of mind. I've also done tens of thousands of, of dry fire draws before I ever, ever considered doing this. I remember Bob Munden on his video 30 years ago said, don't fast draw with live ammunition. And yet he did it. And uh, I did exactly what he said for about 28 years. And a couple of years ago, I went ahead and started fast drawing, fast drawing with live ammunition. But I didn't take it lightly because like I said before, tens of thousands of people have shot themselves. I personally know one person and I know a lot of people that were there when it happened to other people. If you read down through the comments on the videos about to, to, that I put out about not fast drawing single actions with live ammunition, there's a lot of comments in there. People that been shot, seen somebody shot, it's very hairy. So you, you gotta really be on the ball. Now, another one of my rules is I never, ever cock the gun in the holster with live ammunition. Just, I just don't ever do it. And it, the reasons are obvious because when you're, when you're cocking the gun, the gun, you know, you're pointed down at your body. So I just don't do that. Uh, so my, my method is I draw and fan. So by the time I, by the time I'm getting to that hammer, which when I pull the trigger, nothing's going to happen. Really, in my case, the hammer is the trigger. By the time I get to that hammer, I've already got the gun up. You know, and I don't, I don't play around with that stuff right over the top like that. It's just too close to the body. I get the gun up and out forward before I ever get to that hammer. And so those are, those are my rules. And, and uh, I'm going to tell you one more story because what I'm telling you is even though you might think you thought of everything to be safe, fast drawing a single action revolver with live ammunition, you can still have an accident. And I'm gonna tell you what happened to me one time, not too long ago, earlier this year. I was, um, I, I was following all my rules. I had the hammer down on an empty chamber. I never load six up. And, and uh, so hammer's on an empty chamber. By the way, this is unloaded. I verified that already, but. Hammer's down on an empty chamber. I'm getting ready to do a fast draw, live ammunition. And the beeper goes off and I, and I draw and I, and I just kiss that hammer, just like that. I knew I touched it, but I didn't stroke it. I know that there's no way that I stroked it. I just, just kissed it like that, which happens a lot, you know? And, and uh, so anyway, I just bumped it like that. And what happened was without realizing it, I rotated that cylinder. So you can see it kind of happened there, but even just touching it, it started to go. I had no idea that it did that. And I just, just kissed, it was on, actually it was on the racing gun with a fanning hammer. It was this hammer here. And I just, you know, see that? It was one of those. See that, the cylinder didn't move. Well, I heard that, I felt it. And without realizing it, the, the uh, cylinder had rotated one notch. So I was sitting on live round. But following my rules, really I should be okay because I'm not gonna, I'm not going to cock it in the holster. I'm not going to touch that hammer till I'm out and forward. But what happened was that next draw, I was really pumped up, and I and I I drew so aggressively that the the hammer and the firing pin wanting to stay in the holster as the cartridge and the gun came out lit it off right down the holster. How did I do that? Son of a bitch. Unfortunately, because of the other procedures I followed, gun pointing forward, went straight down the holster, missed my foot, I didn't get hurt. But it scared the hell out of me. It's something I never imagined could have happened because I was being as safe as I could. So my point is, don't take it lightly. Just don't do it. It's, it's a very serious thing to be doing. There, there's, a, there's safe ways to do it. 
but uh, I, I strongly recommend nobody fast draw single actions with live ammunition. Well, listen, I want to thank you guys for joining me for this video featuring fast draw and fanning with single action revolvers with live ammunition for your entertainment purposes only. See you on the next video.